Here we are again and it's time to model uh, furniture and accessories in dining room zone. But before that, I've made some copies of pictures on the wall, also placed them on the unit and rotated it. And now uh, let's um, hide the kitchen zone. Also you can hide the sofa for example and I will start with uh, chairs and the table. I, will, I have a reference image for chair so let's make a simple plane. Now we can import a picture Referen Im reference images and this image let's upload it and uh, make a position now we need our chair to be uh, 458 so let's draw a line 450 and scale our picture It's not good enough. It's something about, but we will scale it after we are done with base. Okay, so let's draw some lines. The perspective is not perfect in this image, but uh, we will fix it well draw some lines it's easy we need to connect them only make sure uh, the height is not different Continue line. Well, it's not good now. Continue line and delete these faces. Okay, very good. We are doing it well. Maybe it takes some time, but time is needed. Okay, draw an arc. Make sure. The arc is on the plane. Make smaller one. One more line and one more arc. And continue the lines. It's good now. We have a separate plane, so delete these lines, and now you see that the chirp is not good, so grab this arc and this, and make them look like this. Close the group, place it on the floor, if it doesn't, open and place it on the floor. All the legs should be in the same position on the floor. Ok, so let's fix this arc. It will be easy. Yep, very good. And now extrude. Tell SketchUp 20 millimeters. And now draw a line, another line and type in 450. 
to enlarge our uh, chair. It's good now. Let's select everything and around all the corners. It will take a while. So add only a one millimeter and three segments. Well, maybe let's select this side and this. It's good now and press calculate. You see it's 709 uh, edges. I will wait and then we will copy this leg. Yes, it's good. Now let's copy and say 400. Very good. Now we need a place to sit, so let's create a. Firstly, let's make it a component, and see it chair, and open it. Now create a simple rectangle. We are going to extrude it. Maybe let's adjust. Good and extrude. Let's uh, cut it. The rectangle tool. Drawing a rectangle, simple rectangles. Well, it's not good, so go to the parallel projection rule and top using knife. We can cut the spleen because we are going to use a subdivide uh, tool, subdivide and smooth. It's good now. Go back to the perspective view. Select everything, subdivide and subdivide and smooth. Type in two iterations. Press enter. The geometry is being displayed and it's finished. We can go to the um, back one. Create a rectangle with line tool. Maybe it's not a rectangle. It's a figure. Let's extrude and go to the perspective view. Not perspective, turn off perspective and go to this view and also make some cuts it's enough select everything, subdivide and also subdivide and smooth type in 2 and enter enter again the geometry is being displayed also again and we have already made a chair we will have to copy maybe four of them and now uh, we will make a table yes the chair is done back to the perspective view and let's create a table okay so some type in 
1200 uh, then uh, 600 and close the rectangle make a group and extrude it to 720 copy these lines to 80 to 3 millimeters and also 80 sorry I need 80 something about it well SketchUp application starts lagging now because we have many segments okay push these edges after we done we need to add legs so remove this rectangle and create legs let's choose for example 18 80 closing rectangle making a group and extruding it it's uh, too big so let's make it smaller push by 13 and by 13 again it's good now we can make a component and copy three ones one leg and let's select two to make it faster let's create a rectangle to make a sports for the table make a group and extrude it type in 50 let's copy it to another side place in good position now use rotate to copy it and rotate in 90 degrees using move tool and scale tool we will make fit perfect and now scale tool grab the center point and use your mouse on this plane let's copy sorry about this copy this board and here we are we have a table maybe let's make a little add once uh, legs and uh, we are left only to add details uh, the round corners in 3D so select uh, the top 1 millimeter click OK also make the same to the legs and these boards and the table will be finished